I've interacted um, quite a lot with Mungano. And um, <clears throat> I remember uh, in the initial stages where we were forming this Mungano, and uh, I was also inv involved in, in, in its establishment in Karogocho, although it faced a lot of, uh, quite a lot of challenges in terms of uh, local politics. But I remember very well uh, the, the chairman of the president of uh, Federation of Sumba uh, was really, really working hard and we were we were part of the people who he worked to mobilize towards Mungano. Osumba uh, went to, uh, although I would, uh, you know, he went to a local primary school. I know where uh, they lived. Uh, we were just neighbors, although uh, uh, quite in, in a different village. So we knew each other. And uh, <coughs> I'm very happy with you know, uh, the success that uh, Leto Sumba made with Mungano. And uh, sometimes you say, you got to learn a lot of from him in terms of, you know, uh, helping the community, you know, in this uh, safe saving concept for, for, the, for, for the project, mm -hmm. just for the Mungano. We also came to know about uh, Momko, Momko Initiative, Momko Vijana. And uh, <clears throat> I'm glad that uh, those, the, 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 the driving force of, 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 the, of the project were people from Korogocho. And uh, I can currently say that uh, Kim, Kimani, one of the staff now, was part of, you know, he's, he comes from Korogocho, and I'm glad that he's contributing towards Mungano. So it's a, it's a good experience and real experience for him, yes. The community in Korogocho are divided into two groups. We have those uh, structure owners and we have tenants. And uh, when Mungano was coming on board, Mungano uh, wanted to involve all stakeholders, from tenants to structure owners. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, structure owners were not interested to work with tenants. So they felt threatened by, you know, uh, the way Mungano works because Mungano doesn't, you know, discriminate against anybody in the community. What Mungano does, they bring all stakeholders on board uh, and then they, they help them, you know, to, to approach common issues. Uh, with common understanding. But unfortunately, we have uh, structure owners who felt threatened. And again, uh, it has been, you know, in the history that uh, uh, governments have been promising, you know, uh, structure owners that they will be able to be given security of land tenure. Uh, and so they feel that uh, when we involve the tenants in trying to approach the issue of housing, then uh, we might lose big in terms of uh, land and other things. Mm -hmm. So that was the well, that was the problem mm -hmm. with 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 the, with the Mungano. There was a backlash between uh, structure owners and tenants. Mm -hmm. So structure owners were the the main uh, the, the challenge behind the whole concept. So some of them were actually even running to, to local courts to stop the process. I remember when uh, Mungano wanted to do an immigration and, uh, you know, the tenants were being threatened that they should not register their names by the structure owners. Yeah. And it was quite uh, tense. And, uh, there was quite tension. And uh, Mungano had to now different, uh, use a different approach by approaching organized groups rather than now uh, sensitizing them to come together. So organized groups that will be able to uh, take over the initiative, do it uh, at their own pace.